So in today's video, this is a really special, so I'm gonna do it in two parts, okay? So what we're gonna get from this video is a couple of things. One, it's like a big part of my sort of philosophy of teaching, okay? In terms of what I am looking for and things that make a big difference with students that I get the chance to work with. And the second reason why it is very special is because for the next two parts, I'm gonna be joined <laughs> by my wife, Anna. Hello. I'm not sure that's a good thing for you. It is a good thing. <laughs> so you've been learning golf. So you, you started golf a couple of years ago-ish yes. uh, during the pandemic and then obviously stopped. We had Theo. We did. Our second child. And then over the last sort of four-ish weeks? Yeah, I've wanted to really get back in. I don't want to get back into it. I'm having no more children. And we're I getting back into golf. golf. So what we've started <laughs> to do is we've created a separate YouTube channel, which we have documented, which is yeah, called... Married to Golf. It is. And so far we have done like the basics again with Anna, like grip, posture and all those sort of things. And some of you have found those videos already. And if you haven't done, please consider going over there, watching those. Should uh, put the little link here. I think we will. And it'll be a great journey because obviously it's very much Anna's sort of learning all the fundamentals from how to play and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, but I don't that. want it just to be about me. No, but people all. watch that journey and they'll relate very much it's to it. It's very much for everybody. So, yeah, we want it to be like a community, don't we? We do. So, yeah. So, that's that. We're going to get stuck into the golf swing. Yeah, okay. Come on. Because what is happening, you just take a step to the side just for a second. Okay. So, so, what is happening with Anna is she's doing really, really good, right? And she's starting to understand that's a right. lot of things like how to kind of move the arms and she's got the grip and the posture and she's starting to sort of look like a lot of students that I get the chance to meet. Okay, so it looks good, okay? But <laughs> it like looks it's, good. It's lacking just Substance. a little bit of functionality, okay, in terms of general movement. And the reason for this is because everything is moving together, okay? And what I mean by this is in the back swing, Anna sort of takes the club back and the body moves with the club. Mm. And then in the through swing, uh, she kind of hits it and then the, the head sort of follows through. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna really simply um, Break it down into two stages. In this video, we're gonna focus very much on the backswing. And what we're gonna prioritize, um, Anna, is two things. We're gonna, and this is, you know, we're gonna try and prioritize width, okay? But that's a stretch, and that's the big message that I'm hopefully Anna will be able to relay for you guys as well. And the second one is we're not looking for, for mo excessive movement, okay? So that basically is where our little wedge pro is gonna come in. Oh, okay. This looks interesting. So you're gonna do two things just in today's little bit. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna position your right foot on the top of the wedge pro, like so the platform, okay, and try and take your stance. You're gonna start with a little bit more weight favoring your lead side. That will automatically give me that, won't it? Feel yeah, it. exactly. And then from there, keep your head nice and still and stretch your arms. Yeah. And then just try and hit a few from there. Sorry, um, so is that supposed to, what is that doing? It's well, just putting more a, weight into the left? Yeah, and also it should help you stop moving excessively. Okay, let's see, Wedge Pro, whether you do that. <laughs> with you. So at the top of the wedge or in the middle? In the middle. Good. Good. Does that look good? Yep. Does that feel? Yeah, it does feel good. So swing back. Good. So, draw show back. me this um, back swing. Yeah, draw back. <laughs> so slowly. Like that one? Okay, less movement of the body. I could feel my body gay then, yeah. Good. Okay. Stretch. Yes. That's what I'm thinking in my head, stretch. Stretch your arms out. Okay. Okay, good. Too much body. So, a little bit, but it's better. How's it feel? Do you get the sense stretch? A hundred percent, because what I normally do is... Yes. Because I always automatically want to go back there so I can whack it as hard as I can, as fast as I can. I feel slightly more restricted, weirdly, good. doing that. Is that a good thing? Restriction is a good thing. I feel like my body can only go so far. Perfect. Is that okay? Yes. So, yeah, I feel... Less movement. Oh, less movement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do feel less movement. It feels different, Russ. Okay, let's try and gently hit a few. Perfect. Really good. What place is them? Because obviously the big one is going to be, in the second part of this series, is going to be the through swing. Okay. Which is what I'm terrible at. Yes, to a degree. Not <laughs> in like, you're honest. But like, so the feedback that we have to have is this stays quiet, these are stretching, okay, very much like yeah. so. And then in the through swing, we need to get the same sort of feeling of stretching. Yeah. And this is where loads of golfers go wrong because they think, oh, I'm supposed to turn and I'm supposed to do all these things. Well, that's what I do. You've got to, get, you've got to think about athleticism, okay, stretching your arms. Okay. okay? So 
Good. Yeah, very good. And that massively helped. Exactly. So, but what we've got now is just a sort of short swing. Now, just a quick one. So, what I do with all my students, and again, if any of you are interested in the description box below, but and for Anna, is I have like three versions of the golf swing. So, I have a very basic swing, an intermediate swing, and an advanced swing. And the only reason I'm mentioning that is because it's really important. So, if you just take a step to the side for a sec. If you are struggle, if you struggle with golf and you're feeling consistent, then do what Anna's doing, which is just you know start with a little bit of weight on the lead side, just stretch your arms, and don't like try and have a really big swing, mm. and then eventually you can evolve it where you have a nice stretch and then more of a turn as you move naturally to the left, and that's where I'd class that as more of an intermediate advanced swing. So what you're going to see in these first couple of videos ah, okay. is a very simple golf swing, which will bring enough distance to be able to play. Okay. You can come. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, I, yeah, I do. But we're trying to avoid too many unnecessary moving parts. Okay, yeah. So that sort of makes sense. So we'll evolve the swing from Precisely what I've right. done But so we have far. to get really good at doing this first. And ever since I've been doing this with students, it makes a massive difference. Yeah, I can imagine. See you for part two. <laughs>